rains do not come soon, the entire Kharif crop may... How many system they become depression? It's a Sunday, but there's little rest for these two men. GP Sharma is a meteorologist and vice president at SkyMet. Basan Shamla, its chief scientific officer. SkyMet calls itself India's largest weather monitoring and agri-risk solutions company. SkyMet has predicted the monsoon to be normal this time, which is on the contrary to some other agencies which are predicting it to be uh, below normal or could be very poor also. So while if there was a consensus, probably the anxiety movements are not that large. Somehow we are confident that we will come out successful even this time. In 2012, SkyMet started its monsoon forecast, the first high-profile private agency to do so. It was a challenge to the Indian Meteorological Department, which has been forecasting the monsoon for the past 150 years and has the monopoly on all issues related to the weather and climate in India. A state-led institution with a colonial history housed in the evocatively named Mausam Bhavan, the IMD is backed by institutions like the Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology and others. In the past four years, monsoon forecasts of both the IMD and SkyMet have been similar. SkyMet is quick to point out the greater accuracies of their figures. 2015 now has become a dramatic year in India's monsoon story. In April, when the long-range forecast is given, the Met Department predicted a poor monsoon, just 93% of the average rainfall. SkyMet's forecast was the exact opposite, a normal monsoon with 102% average rainfall. By midday news breaks that the IMD has revised its monsoon forecast. Monsoon ki barish, jitni hoti hai, jo long period average bolte hain, uska 88 percent is saal hone ki sammavana hai pura desh mein, aur isme 4 percent ki model model ki ek turti hai. May I just interrupt and ask you, what are you working on at the moment? You see. Uh, we're working on the monsoon only. Okay. Uh, the IMD has further cut the monsoon rainfall to 88%. Earlier they had said 93%, which itself was below normal. Okay. 88% they have cut it down to, which is a drought. Has that led to any level of rethinking here? Uh, uh, rethinking means we are going over uh, the facts and figures once again. That, uh, but as of now, we don't find uh, anything drastically going wrong with whatever our predictions were there earlier. Three, four, one. Yeah, उन्होंने नीचे कर दिया, 88 कर दिया तो वैसे हमारा भी 100 plus definitely. So we have to stick our forecast to 100 to only. Are you able to share who you were talking to just now? Client also worried. By clients, you mean? Fertilizer companies. Fertilizer. Ifco, then uh, many Axis Bank. Hmm. And we have a big list. Okay. So all, all those people, they take our uh, monsoon forecast to do the production, uh, distribution uh, over the uh, states. All those decisions they, they take based on our forecast. Hello, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do that, please. You said that the monsoon forecast has been revised by IMD and brought it down to 88% for the season. But then our methodology, our results still uh, continue to show that July and August should be okay and that we should be able to catch up with the deficiency what we have in the month of June. So that was, uh, so that was a live phone? Uh, live. They were live on the show. Making the Eastern Army, that means Bihar Bangal Valley Army, that will be a little bit less. Get one right. That is the warmest right now. You know, 3.4. Mm. This is this. Mm. Mm. This is 3.6. Setting up for what exactly at the moment? We're just responding to the IMD forecast. Uh, we want to give it in a video. Of course, there will be a text story which I'll be writing. And uh, I guess the markets need to hear it from me. IMD is bashed up routinely. Yeah. You're not really accountable to anyone as such. Of course we are. How are we not accountable? Will you come to my website? Will you pay with stock markets and our paying clients pay attention to a long range forecast? Um, will our investors be happy or unhappy? You know, how, at what value will you raise your next round? There's so many questions involved in this. I cannot panic mm -hmm. just because 
somebody is saying is going to be below normal, then I'm not being honest to the people I've worked with, to the academic work that we've done. Is 2.6. 90 began by expecting the monsoon to be 93%. It's down to 88%. What does it mean and what is climate's take on it? Still 82% chance of either normal or above normal and, and we are sticking to it. When my father is and was rather was a vendor to the IMD. So I kind of knew how things inside worked and where was what they were looking for. So I pieced this business together. I supplied graphics with data uh, to television networks. That's how we started out in 2003. By the end of 2010, beginning of 2011, we had interest from the VC community and we got Omnivore Capital India's first food and agri-tech fund to invest in us. You're watching Scam It Weather Report. As we're approaching the onset date of monsoon, winds are becoming westerly in the proximity of the southern tip of India. I think we have the biggest weather sensor network in this country now. We have about almost 3,000 sensors in, across all states, so I have live data from all over the place, which is used and ingested into our models to generate the forecast. And the Sensex plummets by 700 points over worries of a deficient monsoon. We saw the Sensex plunge nearly 700 points. An IMD forecast still plunges the market by 600 points. You see, in India, okay, we <laughs> are in love with government. We are not saying it's good or bad, but that is the power of government in this country. You can only get it right if you get it wrong sometimes and if this is a if we are in it for the long run we have to stand by the work that we've done a key reason for SkyMet's forecast lies in its interpretation of the El Nino and its emphasis on the Indian Ocean Dipole a system of ocean and atmospheric pressure which works like the El Nino except closer home it involves the warming of the Indian Ocean and when that happens clouds move towards the Indian landmass the IOD, according to SkyMet scientists, can counter the El Nino effect. The reason behind it is it's not El Nino versus monsoon. It's not, not always. There are Japanese scientists, they discovered that there is an Indian Ocean dipole, which is similar as Pacific Ocean. Pacific, there is east-west gradient. If uh, east is warm, then it is uh, El Nino. Exactly same thing here. West is warm means it's a good monsoon. So this year, west is warm. So your own, own home which is Indian Ocean, is supporting for your good monsoon. main objective of monsoon mission is to develop indigenous dynamical models for forecasting across all time scale and uh, spatial scale, like uh, short range, medium range and uh, long range scale. The models will be developed with a collaboration with various research institutions within the country and with uh, collaborative uh, projects with the international researchers. The models developed will be such that it is consistent for across all the scales of forecasting, the short range, medium range and long range. Dr. Shivananda Pai is head of the long range forecast at the Met Department in Pune. Calm and exact, he patiently explains the complex models behind their forecast. So here's how it stacks up. The Met Department said the monsoon would arrive on May 30th. SkyMet said May 27th. Both were off the mark. SkyMet said the El Nino phenomenon would devolve, that is lower in intensity. In fact, it is intensifying. The Met Department says a strong El Nino correlates to a poor monsoon. And evidence shows that every drought year in India has been an El Nino year. SkyMed argues as the probability of two consecutive drought years is only 3% and 2014 was a drought year, one can rule out the possibility of a repeat. There are many agencies which try and give out forecasts and by and large, none of them come on accurate. Forecasting and saying that it will be a normal monsoon does not help any policy maker or anybody. The big thing is to forecast there will be a drought or a flood. And in these entire 126 years, the Indian Weather Office has failed to predict a mons uh, flood or a drought. So what use is a forecast, a long-range forecast of the monsoon, if you can't prepare the country for the extreme events? So to me, monsoon forecasting today seems more like a joke and it is worse than flip of a coin. An extreme view, say, by the scientists who admit that the science of predicting the monsoon is tough but not impossible.